Hey, it's me, Tammy B, and I am here to do Braxton Family Values Review for the episode that came on on Thursday, August 6, 2015. Okay. So the episode started off with Tracy's performance and she did a look good job. She, her outfit, well, they all had on the same outfit since they were performing with Tony, but you know, she did a good job and it was kind of cute to see Tony kind of on the sidelines ushering her. Um, and it was good to see Tamar in the front row kind of supporting her too, because both Tony and Tamar were kind of getting on her like during the performance. So that was pretty cool. Um, the next scene was um, dinner at Tamar's house. So I guess they all were supposed to make something and Tracy made some banana pudding, which is their safe word now. They were kind of clowning that. And um, you know what? They were talking about risotto and I don't think I've ever had risotto before, but like uh, Tracy was saying, it's just rice and cheese. So, <laughs> so I'm pretty sure I had just rice and cheese before, but hmm, maybe I will try that. Um, oh, the next thing was the face off or they call it the Jace off with, um, Trina's new boo, Jason and, um, the dad, the dad was so funny. I mean, he just was like, what, what you want to do with my daughter? You want to ride her like a car? Like it was just funny. So that was a pretty cool scene to see that, you know, Hey, even at 30 or 40, like sometimes your dad got to do that final check. So that was really funny where Jason was like, I want, it's like anything Jason said, it was wrong. He was like, I want everything. He was like, what's everything? Her money? And he was like, no, you know how you see a car and you want to test drive it? The dad was like, test drive it? You want to ride my daughter? Like it was, so that was kind of funny. <laughs> and then, you know, Trina was making a few like eyebrow raises when he was like, I want everything. I'm like, well, what does she want? Well, I know she don't want to go full throttle, but hey, you need to decide. Either don't date until you decide or... You know, when a guy tells you what he wants, like, listen to it. Maybe that's why, you know, it didn't work out the first two times. So definitely, you know, be careful. Know what you want um, in advance. Don't let the man um, tell you what he wanted. You accept it. You got to kind of navigate that yourself, too. So we'll see. You know, this is right after the divorce. So hopefully it's just, you know, dating. Um, it was a cute little scene with Tamar and Logan and the mom in the backyard. And I don't know why she kept holding on to the baby. You a two year old, he a two year old in the backyard. Of course he's going to run. So I don't know if they thought the cameras weren't going to be able to catch him or I know they live kind of like off a cliff or off a pool. So maybe for it was that reason, but I was like, y'all outside to play, right? Let the kid run. But you know whatever and it was kind of cute he just kept saying maybe monday so i know a lot of kids who find like a phrase and they use it all the time like you know so they anything they asked him he was like maybe monday was like you want a party maybe monday oh you want you ready for lunch maybe monday so that was cute and i think that's the first time i've heard him talk so look at little logan walking and talking already huh so um, then Tawanda and Trina went to buy some stuff from Bar Chicks. And, you know, Trina is funny. She always has her little phrases like something or zation this, something or zation that. But she said two words. And I was like, okay, you a fine line between you sound like you don't know proper English versus, you know, the, you just having your own little lingo. She said the word, uh, liabetic. That was funny. Like her husband, instead of, uh, called diabetic or something like that she said she called Gabe a liabetic I thought that was kind of funny but the word nervousing she's like I'm kind of nervousing about da -da -da. I'm like nervousing well maybe, hmm, maybe I need to look it up maybe it is a word but I don't know it just sounded weird um so then Logan party was next and you know it was cool to see all of the kids so I don't know how they got all of the kids and the sisters wasn't there because Tawana's kids and Trina kids and Tony kids were already there but um, Tamar was complaining that none of her sisters were there, so I didn't get that part. But I mean, she had just got there. I was like, where are the cupcakes? Oh, where are the sisters? Like, I don't know. Maybe a Legoland. They have a real tight, you know, time frame. But kids' parties around here, you be there all day. People show up late, leave early. Some people leave early. Some, you know, it'll be coming in and out. So I didn't know why she was present for the cupcakes right at the beginning of the party. You usually, don't say happy birthday to the end anyway, right? So. She seemed like she was doing a little, Tamar seemed like she was doing a little too much, but you know, it's her kid's birthday party. So of course you want your kid's party to be perfect. So I kind of get it, but 
Um, and then I think the last scene was when Tamar was telling the rest of the sisters that they were going to be on Family Feud. That was funny. Like, you know, I know Tamar like fun and games, but I could see why the sisters annoyed. Like, just tell us what we're here for. But she was like, no, let's play charades and try to figure it out. And she was just doing all these stupid moves. And it took them a long time to figure it out. And it was just so crazy. But it was kind of cute. So I think Tracy was the one who was like, family? And it was like, family feud. So this was the episode where they kind of revealed that. And I ended up watching that family feud. They went up against Anthony Anderson's family. And it was pretty fun. Um, the Braxtons won. And then at the end, Tamar and Tony were the ones who did the fast money part. And they won that part too. And then the money went to a um, autism charity. So um, so that was pretty much the episode. Braxton Family Values. It was pretty cool. I know we got a few episodes left. So it just looks like, um, you know, the Bar Chicks is going to open up next. And I guess we'll see what happens with... Oh, Tracy met with the son her son and his fiance and instantly she was like are you pregnant i'm like okay dang like calm down but but i'm glad the little daughter was like she was like let me give you a pregnancy test she was like no no thank you because i'm like you know i would be respectful to someone's mother but come on now you can't just talk to me crazy but at the same time um tracy need to recognize she the one who let them be all up in the house laid up and twiddling like don't let them be in the kitchen or don't let them be in the bed like you can't be mad at their decisions, but still let them do what they want to do, you know? So, hey, but I understand her. Like I said, if I had a 19 year old or 18 year old kid, I don't think I would want them to get married. Just I kind of want them to experience life, too. But, you know, it's a way of going about saying it. So hopefully Tracy kind of works that out. And to be honest, a lot of her disdain for the situation it's kind of pointing to her because I believe she, you know, got pregnant and married at like, what, 16, 18. And that's why she couldn't go on roll with the Braxton. So it seemed like she kind of taken off some of her, you know, upsetness about that being her situation off on her son, you know. But, hey, that's the environment he was raised in. So maybe that's why he's following it. So, you know, I definitely hope they figure that situation out and everything works out. So we'll see about that. So, all right. So that was it. That's Braxton Family Values. See you later. Bye.